Please welcome our presenter, Mr. Pierre Jalecourt. Good evening. Well, everything's been said about uh, Dr. Spiegel's anyway. I should say thanks like everybody does every time. Thanks to mom, thanks to dad, my brothers, <laughs> my sisters, my friends. No names. I don't have that many friends. <laughs> my saddles. And my horses. And one of them was Dr. Spiegel. Dr. Spiegel, I was young. He was young. He was great. I won, and I sold. <laughs> I would like, I'm very honored to present this trophy. It was part of my life, and it was part of everybody's life. And some rumors this weekend, they told me that it stops. You should never talk this way. <laughs> you will never sell them. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that as a hunter rider, there is absolutely nothing that's more special than being called to jog at the front of the line at the Royal Winter Fair. And the most special award of all has to be this, because Spiegel did that for Hugh, for myself, for the Cottrell family, for 10 years in a row, which is a pretty incredible accomplishment. As all who rode him will attest, Dr. Spiegel was rather like uh, an extremely expensive and delicate sports car. You have to handle them with a tremendous amount of respect, because if you don't, they don't perform for you the way you would prefer that they did. He um, had a very temperamental attitude, and if you push the right buttons, he gave you the most incredible feeling in the entire world. And if you didn't, you jumped the fences ahead of him. <laughs> uh, Spiegel was an incredible, um, incredible hunter. He was an incredible jumper. He was incredible on the flat. And he was also a, a marvelous model hunter, and my father was a, a very much a supporter, um, as all the Cottrell family were, of the Confirmation Hunter Division. And I believe that almost every judge who judged him over the 10 years that we showed him in the, the strip division, as we used to call it, thought he was incredible, except for the year that Dick Francis was the judge at the horse show. As you know, the Royal Winter Fair likes to keep everything perfectly on time in the ring, and they had the judging of the confirmation on the, on the uh, you know, you jogged in, and my father was holding the reins, and there was a very heated discussion between Dick Francis and the American judge for about 22 minutes as to whether we should move Spiegel up or down. At the end of the day, it was a draw, the only very sad part for Dick Francis was that my father never read another of his novels ever again. <laughs> As we all know, for any horse that makes it to the championship podium, there's a tremendous team in place to get him there. I first of all want to thank Pierre, who found him, developed him, and sold him to me. Many thanks also to the Canadian dollar, who at that point was at the high point in 30 years, and it's only yet reached now, otherwise the horse likely would have been sold to the United States. I'd like to thank my father, who bought him for me, who was first and foremost a supporter of the Confirmation Hunter Division for as long as he lived. I would like... I would like to thank my mother, Dorothy Cottrell, who's sitting at our table tonight, and I would ask her to stand because she was a tremendous supporter of all that we were. I would like to thank Hugh Graham, who found all the right buttons to push, and who helped me to push the right buttons to amateur owner championships as well. <clears throat> And there's always a team at home that keep a horse looking good and feeling great, as Spiegel did till the very end of his days. We began with Jerry LaChalapé. We ended with Gaius English, who's also sitting with my mother tonight. <laughs> I 
I would also like to thank the entire equestrian community for putting on an event like this. We all know how much the equestrian sport means to all of us, but I think that the focal point, as now and as always, should be the horse. Thank you. I rode for the Cottrell family for almost 20 years. Ten of those years involved Dr. Spiegel. He's the reason I got the job. I was at the St. Catharines Horse Show and I was riding, um, just catch riding some horses and Morgan Firestone asked me to ride one of his horses that was stopping and I rode it and too many mornings and um, it performed well and the next day I was riding Dr. Spiegel and it was stopping too and it was, um, it took a while to figure him out and get his, get the, get the right buttons to press, but um, I always said, and I think I told Ian wrote one year at the Royal, and I, and I told Ian, I said, Ian, I always ride him to win, and if he stops, we don't win, you know, and he won a lot more times than he stopped, and um, here he is tonight, uh, he's famous, he's both famous and infamous, and I, when, I, when I think of um, Dr. Spiegel, I always think of the man behind the horse, and he was like a father to me. He was a great guy and a great supporter of our sport. If you ever went to his stable um, on um, Airport Road and walked in the ribbon room, it was completely blue and white. The whole ceiling and the, all the walls were covered with red and blue ribbons, championships and reserves. There was a history there. You'd walk through to the trophy room, and the trophy room was huge full of trophies and they went back to the early 1900s in Chicago and he used to tell me how they took the train out there with their hunters to show in Chicago, his father and that. So it was a great history and it was a great honor for me to ride for the Cottrell family and to ride this horse as well. Thank you. Once again in our hunter category, please congratulate Dr. Spiegel.